Good evening. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, three infographics, in particular talking about the audience, demographics, and sports. As a business marketing major and a sports fan, I am interested in the business of the sports world. Therefore, I am intrigued on the audience that are interested in specific sports by looking at different demographics. So this is the reason I decided to look more into two infographics relating to sports and target audience since it has a direct correlation with each other. This first infographic was published by Gravy Analytics, which is a credible source because the company is based off doing analytical surveys to find the data that businesses throughout the world trust to produce better co consumer quality. The infographic contains citations at the bottom, which allows you to see it's received its data from the surveys they put into place for the customers to receive consumer feedback on the demographic of who is interested in certain sporting events. The main message of this is the statistics behind sporting events and their intended consumers. Although there is a lot of information included in this, since it is evenly spaced and its purpose is to help companies that are looking to market to an intended audience, this website and infographic cannot be classified as propaganda because it is simply to inform the firms and not to persuade them. I'm going to talk about the design style of this infographic. It is a mixed chart design because it contains a combination of graphs, pictures, and lists. The simplicity of this makes it both eye-catching due to many graphics and easy to read. In fact, if you are looking at the infographic for the first time, then your attention will most likely go to the upper left-hand corner in the large blueprint and you would read the words, Sports Fans, Audience Profile. The white space color combination and various font size also allows your attention to be drawn into the main points first. Due to its appearance and context, this appears to be made by a critical thinker with the hopes of attracting more critical thinkers because it states a lot of facts and is more straightforward than unique and creative. The second infographic was published on a sports marketing website proving the infographic is slightly outdated being published in 2015. The website and infographic cannot be classified as propaganda because it is simply used to inform the firms and does not persuade them as well. This infographic, much like the first one, contains a lot of quantitative data in order to spread a wider range of knowledge about sports viewing audience. This demonstrates that along with the inf this infographic, that this website as well is directed towards companies who wish to gain more knowledge on the demographic of their audience. Now, as far as the layout and design for this infographic, it goes fairly similar to the first infographic. It also uses a mixed chart design with a combination of lists and graphs. In order to just show the right amount of information, the font size of the text makes it easy to read. However, the colors in this infographic don't contrast as much as the first one did, making it harder to read some of the words and some of the data. Finally, I am assuming this was made by a critical thinker in order to attract critical thinkers because it is simple and goes straight to the point, whereas creative thinkers would have gone a different layout option and used more visuals. After analyzing both infographics, I decided I wanted to create one that was similar to them and contain the part main parts about sport viewing demographics. However, when it came to the statistics, I wanted to get more recent information from either 2019 or 2020. I didn't want to have too much white space, but I also didn't want to have too many random clusters of information or graphics. So I decided that, that I wanted to include the main focal point of this. No pictures, no random data, just what the firms would like to see. I knew I wanted to create this using a mixed chart design. Because of this, I decided the best way to do that was to form a graph. In order to make this eye-catching, I decided to use a few random colors behind the information so it would pop out against a very light background. Rather than the two other infographics, I wanted to make statistics simpler and easier to read for the firms, as well as using the title Sports Fan in order to catch the eyes of those who watch sports. And that was my main thought process behind developing this infographic.